Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very special and very exciting. If you guys don't know me, my name's Anuja and I'm a Sri Lankan YouTuber that does videos on music, beauty and lifestyle. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do and support my channel. If you know me personally or you know me through videos, you will already know that I am such a big fan of everything royal. And the newest member who is Meghan Markle or Prince Harry's wife or the Duchess of Sussex has been on close radar since the wedding and it's really really exciting for me because they are actually coming to New Zealand very soon because they're doing a tour around Australia, Pacific Islands and New Zealand so I'm so freaking excited for them to come I think they're coming at the end of October I just have to say from the photos and the videos that I have seen from that tour she looks absolutely amazing and it's so cute to see the baby bump as well because they put out a statement saying that she's about three months pregnant I think so I'm just so so happy for all those reasons one of my friends actually requested this video because they asked if I could do an everyday makeup look of Meghan Markle's I'm just surprised that I haven't done a video like this sooner because I'm just so obsessed with her and her look obviously she does change it around depending on what kind of occasion it is I mean her day compared to one of my normal days is very different but there's definitely a pattern to her normal makeup look so I hope I've done a decent job and I hope this helps if you are inspired by her looks as well. I am using a couple of new products, a couple of old favorites, but also some of Megan's favorites. So this should be interesting and I hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so to start with, I have already moisturized my face and then I'm gonna put on the Pore Professional Primer by Benefit. I just literally pat it on and then smear it. It basically creates the smooth surface that the makeup can lie on. Now because we are going for her natural look, the look that shows off her beautiful freckles, I thought instead of using a full coverage foundation or even a medium coverage foundation that I would use a BB cream. A lot of online sources say that she loves her Laura Mercier BB cream. I have tried that one but I have to say my skin didn't really love it so it was discarded. I don't know about you, but personally, I find it really hard to find a BB cream that matches my face because unlike foundations, BB creams don't come in the variety of shades that foundations offer. So I was struggling so hard. I was using the NARS BB cream, but I felt like it was making my skin look too oily and I don't really like that and one day I was walking around Mecca Maxima and I came across this beautiful product which is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream and I have to say I have been loving this my skin has been loving this it doesn't make your skin look too dry not too oily it's just the right amount and it's a beautiful coverage and it matches my skin really really well this is in the color medium so if you are my skin tone give it a go because I feel like this is my favorite BB cream so far and I have used a lot of BB creams in the past trying to find the perfect one so I would highly highly recommend this so I'm just gonna put a little bit I don't know how much I'm going to be using but let's see as usual I'm gonna put my little tiny dots everywhere now the way that I put BB cream on is I actually use my fingers first with BB creams it's really easy because you can build on however much you want and create the coverage that you want now you can see how beautiful that looks and it doesn't look like too much or too little. Now looking at her photos you can see that she does have concealer on because there's a bit of illumination under the eyes but it's not too much or too heavy. And a product I think that produces similar effects is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in the color medium to dark one biscuit. 
I'm literally scraping the bottom of it because I've used it so much and I need another one. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put it under my eyes. Just on my cupid's bow and a bit on my chin as well. I might put some on my nose because I feel like her nose is like really beautifully contoured. And then I use my fingers. Because I wear glasses, I do have some pigmentation around my nose, so I'm just going to conceal that as well. Now I know that I use my fingers this whole time to put my BB cream and concealer, but I always try and set all of that in with a beauty blender. When I look at her photos, I feel like I can see some powder coverage and I'm pretty sure she uses some kind of setting powder. The one that I'm using is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium Deep. And I find that this gives sort of like a natural but Photoshop look, if that makes any sense. If you need a setting powder that has some coverage, this is a really good one for it. So I'm just gonna lightly put it on my brush. All right, talking about eyebrows, you can see that she sports a very natural eyebrow, a very natural arch, and she doesn't use that much product. I used to use a lot of product on my eyebrows, but now I've opted for the minimalist approach. And for me, that has meant using my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter and Gimme Brow on top of that. So the 24 Hour Brow Setter is essentially like a gel and it's clear. So I'm going to just sweep my eyebrows and I go upwards because most of the time we sort of flatten it but I feel like lately I've been trying to free them. Of course this is very different if you have very thin eyebrows then you might want to color it in and give it some volume. Usually people do the other way, you use the Gimme Brow and then the 24 hour brow setter, but because I'm a clean freak, I don't want the 24 hour brow setter to pick up the color that I put on my eyebrows. Anyway, and now I'm just gonna use the Gimme Brow, which does have color, so it's gonna add volume. Now Megan has beautiful hazel eyes and she does use a bit of eyeliner and a bit of mascara, but it's really hard to see what's on her eyelids. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Balm Cosmetics Betty Luminizer on my eyelid and use the Hoola by Benefit on my crease. I think she would go for a very natural eyelid anyway, so I think these are perfect. Let me just swatch it for you because it is so gorgeous. I mean, how beautiful is that? It gives off this golden goddess vibe. And that is exactly what I want to feel like if I was Megan. <laughs> so I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to put the tiniest bit on my eyelids and just evenly distribute it. And you can see that it instantly gives it a shine, but not one that is too overwhelming. So with the Hoola by Benefit Bronzer, I'm just gonna put it onto a small brush and I'm literally just gonna go over my crease like that. And I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it definitely did give some depth to my eyes. Now people like Daniel Martin, who's done her makeup before, has said that she loves coppery brown eyeliner and black eyeliner. So I thought I would use both of them today. The black eyeliner I'm using is my MAC Definedly Black Pro Longwear Eyeliner. And the brown coppery one that I have is my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And this is in the color Roach. I actually used this one for the video that I did on her wedding look. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. A little bit of self-promotion. The first thing I'm going to do is line my top waterlines with the MAC 
black eyeliner. This is a lot easier when you use two hands, by the way. Now what I've seen her do is for glamorous occasions, she would go for a very smoky look with lots of eyeliner, lots of black eyeshadow. But for her normal everyday look, she does use an eyeliner at the top and a little bit of smudging at the bottom and mascara. Now when she does her eyeliner, she doesn't really do wings or anything and it sort of stops at the edge. So that's what I'm going to try and create. So just go really slowly if you are a beginner because patience is key. So I feel like with her eyeliner, she does smudge it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Zoeva Smoky Shader in the number 234 and using it with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, I'm just going to spray the brush a little bit and then smudge it out a little bit. And once you've smoked it out, you can go back with the eyeliner and just make sure that it still has the right intensity that you want. Now for the bottom eyeliner, I'm going to use my Urban Decay eyeliner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the waterline, but also the skin underneath. But I'm not going to go beyond halfway, so I'm not going to go to the inner corner. And then I'm going to draw a line using my black eyeliner, just along the lash line really. I think the copper and the black really complement each other and just brings out the contours of the eye really, really well. Now for the mascara, she does go moderate to heavy on the eyelashes just to make those hazel eyes pop. So today I'm going to use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is sort of like my holy grail mascara to be honest. It is very buildable and it honestly gives the most natural looking lashes. Now at this point you may have fallout under your eyes because of your eyeliner or your mascara. So this is the time to apply more concealer if you need to. Now normally what I would do at this stage is contour my face and put on a bit of highlighter. And what she does is she actually uses a blush as a contour. She always has dewy skin, especially on top of her cheekbones, on her nose and a bit on her forehead. And I feel like this bronzer is like the best thing. So I'm going to use this bronzer first and then go over it with the blusher. So I'm going to put a generous amount onto my brush. And then I'm going to use it the way that I use my contour. Go slightly slow because you can always build on it. And don't be afraid to go on the cheeks as well. I'm just going to add a little bit on my nose and then a bit on my forehead as well. If you are a brown girl and you're struggling to find a blusher, this honestly is the best. And this is actually one of Megan's favorites, so she might be using this on the tour itself. So again, I'm going to put a generous amount and I'm going to start from the cheek and then just build it on the bronzer. And then I'm just going to smooth out the edges. She definitely does have a lot of rosiness just underneath here on the cheek. I am all blushed up. I'm going to add a bit of the bronzer just underneath my eyebrows as well. For the Duchess lips, she actually herself loves Charlotte Tilbury 
matte revolution in the color very victoria i think she has her favorite nudes and she sort of rotates them my favorite nude personally is mac and taupe but to be a little bit different i am using a different lipstick that i don't think i've ever used in any of my videos and it is this Stila lipstick these are honestly so cheap i thought they were going to be really expensive but it wasn't and this is in the color Bon Bon and it's actually quite similar to Taupe itself. Now to show you guys the difference, I'm going to put it on my hand. This is Taupe. This beautiful nude that I am so in love with. And this is the Stila Bon Bon. So you can see that it's slightly darker but it still has that nude element to it. Now to compensate for the darkness and to make it look like the very Victoria Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that she uses, I am going to go over my lipstick with the Lip Pencil Spice and yes you heard me right, I'm actually going to go with the Lip Pencil after the lipstick. Shock horror, I need lip balm especially before matte lipstick. Now, this is what the Stila lipstick looks like. To be honest, personally, I would just leave that as it is because it looks so natural. But because I'm trying to copy Megan's look, I'm going to go over it with the Spice Lip Pencil. Now she has the perfect pouty lips and one thing that you guys can do if you don't have um, sort of sharp features on your lips is to actually use a lip liner. You can see that it instantly lifts up that color and it makes it look more pinky nude. To make sure that the makeup stays in place I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and then we're done. So that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some tips and tricks into how she does her makeup. Now obviously this is my own interpretation. I don't claim to know exactly what she uses or how she uses them. But I just wanted to show you guys that you can work with what you have and still create the looks that you see in the high-end industry and in the royal family. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment down below because I feel like you guys have amazing ideas for videos and I'm just gonna send out lots of love, lots of happy vibes. I hope you're well, I hope you're happy and I will see you back again with another video very soon. Bye guys. <laughs>